What's up guys, it's Milesy. Today we're going to be talking about the Grantis closed beta. The closed beta has came to an end, and let's just say it was a fun ride. I load up my else's all the way up to level 77 before the closed beta ended. As you can see, I was very dedicated as I was playing every day and overall, I was just having a ton of fun. He leveled very easily by playing on PvP, which is really great. And I think I had over 100 games played on PvP. I couldn't play the last day because I was recently vaccinated and I felt too tired to play the game at the moment. Anyways, KOG updated a small portion of the game and left off for when the game dropped out in 2015. So when I tell you there's not much of a difference, there really wasn't, but I get it, it's fine. It's only the closed beta, so I will give them the benefit of the doubt. The major thing that they updated was the UI and for me personally, the UI looks good. But it needs a little polishing to make it look nicer and for them to make it a little darker to be easier on my eyes and make it match with the rest of the game because if you go on your inventory it is so bright compared to how the rest of the game looks. I will admit that I got confused on how it worked. You have to left click on some items to equip and right click on some other stuff to make it work as also. It looks like they're making the UI change for it to be easier on beginners of the game. And yeah, that is the right way to go. So let's talk about the pros versus the cons that they made on Classic. First off, and most importantly, it looks like you don't have to pay for extra skills anymore. It looks like they're going to make it as a quest or something like that for skill tree. I do see people critting me a lot more often when they have more critical chance, so it may not be balanced for properties. I would also like to say that MP Recar just feels better to me in PvP. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I charge my second bar skills faster than before. East speed people always using first bar a lot, and people still do often use first bar, but I feel like they made recovery for the second bar a lot faster. Thirdly is that they made changes for dungeon, like their reinforcement system. I really like their reinforcement system as I was using it a lot, and the achievements were really great. That was my pros for the closed beta. Now let's talk about the cons. Now the cons are some big ones, but it's for the game to be better as this is my favorite game and I want it to flourish. First, I would like to talk about some PvP changes. The balance changes that they made to Liar and how weak she is right now compared to Elsa's is really insane. I feel like Liar needs a buff because they took away her gone, and sometimes accidentally you can get the 10 second cooldown which is a huge cooldown which should be at most 4 to 3 seconds. Because think of it this way. Let's say you're in a 3v3 and you have someone chasing you down because you're the ranged person on your team. You accidentally get the 10 second cooldown. You can't shoot anything for 10 seconds, which is quite a long time. I agree on the gun nerf because nothing should be abusable in the game. We all know that invincibility frames shouldn't be abusable as also, but I do also think that the liar cooldown should be shorter. I also feel like the liar doesn't do any damage anymore. At least that's what I feel like when I'm playing at Alice's. With Alice's, you can auto on the platforms and do a lot of combos with Alice's. Secondly is that the game isn't 60 FPS yet. I feel like this is a must to keep up with modern games nowadays. It's 2021 and developers still have the thought of making the game 60 FPS. It is still capped at 55 FPS and some people will say there's no difference between 5 frames but there really is. It will feel a lot smoother and the game will feel like it's brand new. I'm really urging COG on this one because this is a must right here. Thirdly is that I, I dislike the inventory individualization. I can't even change my character in PvP. You have to go back to the server select to change your character and go back to a PvP room which is a lot of work. Before the game shut down in 2015, you can change your character. Remember when they first did this and nobody liked it? and they had to make some changes to make the Grantis community happy, it looks like they reverted those changes. My fourth con and my last one is that I hate to say this, but the game is really outdated. At least that, that's what I think as a veteran. If they knew that they were going to bring the game back, they should make changes to the engine or something like that to keep up with modern games and I know they can do it. My friend Hikaru kept on crashing on the game for some reason. The game needs some general bug fixing because I did it myself encounter some bugs while I was dungeoning. My suggestion is to make Grantis Forest is to make it look more new and to update the UI a little bit more. I shouldn't have to pay money to get an SP reset card. I noticed things in the shop were more expensive but that's okay. 
I know that games they make cosmetics expensive too, but generally to to generally play the game, you shouldn't have to pay for anything for that. You shouldn't have to pay money to get more characters. Everything should be earned without paying money except for cosmetics. I'm fine having to pay money for quality shop things to make my character look good, and 60 FPS is a must. This one is a critical one, but I think they should make an optional PvP quest to get all your character's jobs because let's be real here, right now the game forces you to dungeon to get all your character's jobs and some people think that dungeoning is boring and there are people that only play Grand Chase for the PvP. They made it easy to level up in PvP, but you still have to dungeon to get your job so what's the point? There has to be some balance in between the people that like to dungeon and the people that like the PvP only. In conclusion, I think that Grand Chase has a lot of potential to grow, and if the developers do it right, they can make the game flourish and reach a new peak. Grand Chase's peak before was back in Season 3, and he had GWC and lots of players on the game. Grand Chase is still my most favorite game, and I'm trying to give all this feedback to them to help the game grow. I can't wait to play the game in August. We'll see what they change from the closed beta test, and I'm still so hyped that the game is coming out again. I really do not want the game to shut down again, so I'm giving all this advice to them to help them and prevent that from happening ever again. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think about the video. Peace out. This is Bonzi.